Shalom, Akim. Call the law, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwitash. Double honor to the apostles of the great millstone who rule well and who taught me this truth. All right. Wow. Wouldn't you know it? Now I guess people will start to pay attention since the Wall Street Journal has said this. All right, Wall Street Journal, no third sex exists in humans. There is no sex spectrum beyond male and female. There is no sex spectrum beyond male and female. All right. Since that conference in the early 70s, I, I want to say 73, somewhere around there, where these psychologists slash psychiatrists, all right, got together and they decided to change the definition um, as it pertains to uh, the sexual orientation crap that came from that conference, all right, they no longer considered it a mental illness with this, you know, being gay. And again, this gave birth to what we see now, all right? That was the begin beginnings of it. And here in the insert you see is Dwayne Wade's son, all right, son. The Wall Street Journal, and I'm going to keep emphasizing son, and I'm going to play a video that's going to go further illustrate why I'm saying this. The Wall Street Journal challenged the gender binary ideology that sex is on a spectrum beyond male and female. In humans, reproductive anatomy is unambiguously male or female at birth. More than 99.98% of the time, said biologist Colin M. Wright and Emma N. Hilton, all right, it says the biologists affirm that the purpose of males and females is to reproduce. The evolutionary function of these two anatomies is to aid in reproduction via the fusion of sperm and ova. No third type of sex cell exists in humans, and therefore there is no sex spectrum or additional sexes beyond male and female. Sex is binary. LGBT plus groups insist sex is non-binary and there are multiple genders and sexes beyond male and female, all right? They're trying to make excuses of why, as to why they're fucked up. And it's right, quite simple. It's demons on these people, all right? And they're trying to look to science to explain uh, or to give them options, rather, uh, so they can exist in this society. All right, it, it's, several it's several things going on here. All right, number one, they've got these legislators that are looking for ways to protect these things. And two, they're looking to science, all right, to look for a, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I guess to redefine, uh, well, what's going on here? All right, so they can be uh, justified in their own eyes as to why uh, they're this way. And in doing so, uh, put more pressure on the general public, all right, the people that aren't crazy. And more and more you're seeing all these uh, athlete, I'm sorry, athlete, athletes uh, and something that's totally related to this, I'm thinking when I say that, there's a recent article where Charles Barkley made a uh, um, statement that no discrimination against the LGB, uh, paraphrasing, against the LGBT community is going to happen under his watch because this idiot has for some reason associated with what happened to our people all right, and this is exactly what they wanted to happen, mind you. And he's trying to pull these freaks under the umbrella that is uh, what's happened to so-called African Americans, the Israelites. So he's pulling every, 
these things in with us saying, well, you know, we should know about discrimination. So therefore, and never underestimate <laughs> the extent to which these Edomites will go to and they're all out wickedness, all right? This is something that evidently they planned for and idiots like Charles Barkley, well, there you go. He's one of those. Just because we're persecuted, we have to associate ourselves with other groups that are uh, persecuted. And they just walk right on in. Because remember, who benefited from the civil rights movement? The Edomite woman, so-called white woman, and these things. Mr. Barkley, our people, our family structure is all but destroyed. And that was done on purpose. All right? And I'm not sending this out to Charles Barkley. He's evidently beyond gone. All right? I don't care if he ever sees this or not. This is not about Charles Barkley. I'm just using that because that's recent development, a uh, comment he made, ESPN. All right? And some of my people just, you know, one of those is just not going to ever get it. Continuing on, it says, the Wall Street Journal writer said, there is a dangerous and anti-scientific trend toward the outright denial of biological sex, which sees male and female as arbitrary groupings. They added that intersex individuals are extremely rare, and they are neither a third sex. Now, I think what they're going to here is uh, what you, what's known as... Um, um, where you get Aphrodite from. Uh, ama ama um, it's an Aphrodite? Hold on. An individual is born with both sex organs. Let's see. Hermaphrodite. That's what I'm What I say. Uh, let's see. Hermaphrodite. There we go. Let's see. Hermaphrodite in... I said Aphrodite, but in a biology, a hermaphrodite is an organism that has complete or partial reproductive organs and process produces, how do you say that, gametes uh, normally associated with both male and female. Let's go on to this. Let's see. All right. Let's see, for example, the great majority of tunicates, pulmonate snails, opistha branch snails, earthworms, and slugs are hermaphrodites. Hermaphrodite, hermaphroditism is also found in some fish species and to a lesser degree in other vertebrates. Most plants are also hermaphrodites. Uh, historically, the term hermaphrodite has also been used to describe ambiguous genitalia and gonadal uh, mosaicism in individuals of gohocharistic species, especially human beings. The word intersex has come into usage for humans since the word hermaphrodite is considered to be misleading and stigmatizing, as well as scientifically species, specious and clinically problematic. All right, let's see, etymology. The term derives from the Latin hermaphroditus from ancient Greek, Roman romanicized hermaphroditus, which derives from hermaphroditus, the son of Hermes and Aphrodite, Aphrodite, Aphrodite in Greek mythology. All right. According to Ovid, he fused with the nymph Salmacus, resulting in one individual possessing physical traits of male and female sexes. Going into that, uh, um, dang it. Um, what they're trying to do now, that so-called androgynous uh, society, it's like what this is trending towards, all right? It says they added that, uh, okay, in a, referring to children who believe they are the opposite sex, researcher Jane Robbins said, the concept of changing one's biological sex is, of course, 
Nonsense. She said sex is determined by unalterable chromosomes. An individual, an individual can change his hormone levels and undergo surgery to better imitate, and that's the word here, imitate the opposite sex, but a male on the day of his conception will remain a male. I'm going to put, it says on, but till the day of his death, or on the day of his death. So whatever you do, all this money for all these surgeries, it's just you're doing this to imitate the opposite sex. So let's get, let's play this. How to do debunk transgender. Essentially, transgender ideology holds that people can be born into the wrong body. It's simply not true. Human sexuality is binary. Okay, we know this because in nature, reproduction is the rule. And human beings, uh, we engage in sexual reproduction. You need a man and a woman to do that. Women are XX. Those are the sex chromosomes. Women have two X, Xs. Men have an X and a Y. Those are genetic markers. They're genetic markers for female and male, respectively. Okay, Binary. That's the rule, and it's self-evident. Transgender, someone who identifies as transgender, however, that's not a problem in their body. Gender identity, all identities, they're in our thoughts. Thoughts and feelings, those are not hardwired, they develop, and they may be factually wrong or factually correct. Uh, the definition of a delusion is a fixed false belief. So if I persistently, consistently insist that I am Margaret Thatcher, or persistently, consistently insist that I am a cat, or uh, I'm an amputee trapped in a normal body, I am delusional. And in fact, there are people who believe they are amputees trapped in a normal body. They are appropriately diagnosed as having body identity integrity disorder. If you want to cut off an arm or a leg, you're mentally ill. But if, but if you want to cut off healthy, healthy breasts and genitals, oh, then you're transgender and you don't have a mental illness. Individuals with disorders of sex development are being used as pawns in the fight for um, basically a civil right to a mental illness. There's no such thing as a civil right to a mental illness. But that is, in fact, what we are dealing with, with the transgender rights movement. So there you have it. Will you finally believe it now that someone other than Great Millstone has said it? What should be obvious? Like she said towards the end, this looks like to be something that's aimed at obtaining a civil right for mental illness. What did I mention about the conference they held back in the early 70s, all right? Where a bunch of psychiatrists slash psychologists got together and they uh, altered the definition as it pertains to uh, being gay. It was originally uh, described as a mental illness. So there you have it, all right? Let's get a couple of comments. I don't want this to run too much over. One hundred percent. Oh, I'm not going to even go there. It says chromosomes will be male or female. The Most High makes no mistakes. At the end of the day, you will be the gender you're born. Dot. Oh, anyway, it says male or female. That's the facts. Cut off. Add on. You will still be the gender you're born with. How true? Let's go to. Uh, Matthew. 19, that's New Testament. That's why I started off with the New Testament. It says, uh, whoop. And he answered and said unto them, Have ye not read that which he made them at the beginning, made them male and female? There's nothing here about XXY and XYX or anything like that, all right? Five, and he said, for this cause shall a man leave father and mother and shall cleave to his wife, and they twain shall be one flesh. And that wife would be a natural woman. I have to, it's sad that I even have to use that word, natural woman. 
All right. So what is this making reference to? Well, let's go to Genesis, fifth chapter. All right. Verse 2. Actually, I'll start at the top. This is the book of the generations of Adam, or Adama, from the ground. In the day that the, had, uh, God created man in the likeness of God, made he him. Male and female created he them, and blessed them, and called their name Adam in the day when they were created. This also uh, addresses the point of it wasn't just two people running around butt naked. All right? This is talking about. All right, a whole host, a whole race of people, male and female created he them and blessed them and called their name Adam in the day when they were created, or Adama from the ground, all right? So just thought I'd put that in there, all right, because evidently, uh, the general pop here has a lot more sense than these idiots in the scientific community gave credit for. Just saying. Christine says, wow, stop calling this kid a girl. This is a boy, and his parents need to teach him that this isn't right. The Most High doesn't make mistakes. He knew what he was doing when he formed you in your mother's womb. Tommy Tuggle, I've been saying this all along. He says, I'm sorry, I'm, you know, whatever. I'm sorry that people have identity problems, but knowing you are one or the other should be actually comforting. <laughs> Got a point. Angela Efferson, this man is in insane. Talking about Dwayne Wade. He will probably pay for his son to get a sex change at the age of 13. I don't think these kids knows what, know what uh, comes along with this type of lifestyle. I pray he never gets arrested. The Bubba's will have a good time with his girly ass. All right. User 7822, every normal person knows this. Julio Pinon, a human male will remain a male until his death. Ra, just what I said at the beginning of reading these comments, and it took, at the beginning of this video, and it took Wall Street to tell us the obvious. And I'm going to cut it right there, all right? Because you people refuse to listen to us. All right, great millstone. Uh, so you need Wall Street. <laughs> All right, so, hey, I'll post a link to this article in the description box as normal. Uh, sad, man, sad. Really sad. You know, he's, this is a sacrifice, you know, on Dwayne Wade's part. Sad, very sad. It's fucked up. Our people have been and become ensnared in this wicked-ass society, you know. Anyway, so, with that, I, you know, I hope whoever sees this is edified as to what's going on. Um, and uh, once again, call Halal Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rekakwadash. Once again, double honors the apostles of the great millstone who taught me this truth and who, who are well. Salutations to the Akimata on the highways and byways pushing this truth, our honest and sincerity, trying to wake up the whole elect. So with that, Shalom, Ababa, Ball.